Mines make use of steel wire ropes to hoist heavy equipment and people carrying elevators up and down mine shafts. The quality of these ropes and the technology behind them has a significant effect on the safety of the workforce. Steel wire ropes with defects could be to the detriment of a mine's operation and lead to the loss of lives. Engineer Rian Berg is leading a team of young technicians who make sure that mechanical tests are carefully conducted to ascertain the rope's condition during its working life. The part of mechanical engineering that I work in it deals with structural integrity and so what we do is to determine the strength of items. One of the interesting things of uh, this work is the wide variety of objects that we test. For example, we've recently tested lifting equipment that will be used to lift a load in excess of 300 tons and some of the elements of this uh, lifting gear is longer than 13 meters. When I say lifting gear, I'm referring to the items that will be used to connect the load to the mobile crane that will be doing the lift. In my current position, it gives me great satisfaction to know that I'm making a contribution to the safety of people working with all sorts of lifting devices all over industry in South Africa. A lot of the testing that we do in these labs are related to the safety of workers in mines in South Africa. And we contribute to ensuring that when people go underground, measures are in place so that they can come out safely. I think a common misconception about working in engineering uh, is people's idea of the variety of work that an engineer can do. I think there's a lot more variety available to a person in engineering than what most people believe. One of the things that I enjoy about working in the CSIR is the fact that I'm in an organization that provides many opportunities for developing myself and my career. It offers great support for that and it's an organization that strives for excellence. Someone looking to follow a career in engineering needs to always remember that as an engineer you will have to pick up the tools out of his academic toolbox and apply them. So you have to study hard at school and university so that you can be sure there are no tools missing when you need them.